Hello and welcome to this Substance Painter training video. Today we're going to take a look at using a mesh with UDIM tiles in Substance Painter. The UDIM workflow is simply a notation for naming images so that they are automatically assigned to a specific UV tile. In 2.1, the UDIMs are converted to texture sets as you can see here. So here we are in Maya and I'm looking at the Vela demo project. Here we can see the UDIM tiles for this particular project. Now the UDIM range here is moving from 1000 to 1010. And as we look at these uh, UDIM tiles, uh, we can see the textures that are associated with each tile. If you'd like to learn more about UDIMs, I would recommend checking out this article by fxguide.com. So once you have your mesh set up with your UDIM tiles, you can just simply export this in the FBX format. And now let's take a look at how we can create a new project in Painter and utilize or import in these UDIM tiles. Okay, so here I am in Painter and I'm gonna create a new project. So here I'll go to File, New, and in the New Project Wizard, I'm going to select my mesh, so I'll hit Select. And here I'm going to choose this FBX file that I just exported. So now I'll click the open button. And you'll notice here that we have a new option called create a texture set per UDIM tile. So now that we have this option enabled, let's just click OK. Painter is now going to create my project. And you'll notice here that all of the UDIM tiles are now separated into individual texture sets. We've added a new shortcut for navigating between texture sets. So now I can just hold down the Control, Alt, and Right Mouse button to quickly select a set. So here you can see that I can use this shortcut to quickly select a texture set by clicking on the model. Here we have the completed project. It was textured by Fabrice, who is a tech artist and product designer for Substance Painter at Algorithmic. Now I'm ready to export my textures. So I'm just going to right click and choose the export textures option. And so the export document wizard opens and you can see that by default, I have all of my texture sets enabled. Now each texture set is named to represent a specific UDIM tile. I can also come over and change the resolution for each one of these. So for each UDIM tile, I could have, you know, a different resolution. For example, here, if I click this, uh, you'll notice that I can take this to 4K or even with 2.1, 8K export as well. So here for my configuration, I'm going to click the drop down here and I'm going to choose the Arnold preset. This is going to export my textures using the correct naming convention for working with UDIM tiles on the file texture node within Maya. Here, if we take a look at the configuration and I'll come over here to Arnold, you can see that the flag for texture set is just placed at the end. Again, just to match the UDIM naming convention. You could of course create your own preset and set up the export options so that it matches the UDIM naming convention as well. For example, you'll see that I did this here with my Moto UDIM preset. Again, the texture set flag here is placed at the end so that it creates the appropriate naming convention so that Moto can hook up the texture to the UDIM tiles. But again, in our case for this example here, I'm just using Arnold and let's export and then take a look at this inside of Maya. So I've done a quick render with the Arnold renderer here in Maya and here in the viewport, you can see that all the textures have been assigned correctly. Here I have an Arnold standard material and using the Arnold export preset from Painter gives me the appropriate maps that I need for the channels in the Arnold standard shader. Now let's take a look at one of the file texture nodes. So here I'll select the file texture node and notice that for the UV tiling mode, I've set this to UDEM and it found the 10 tiles that I'm going to be using based on my images that were exported. Here in the image name, you can see the naming convention that's being used and the actual UDEM number that I export is being replaced here by the UDEM flag, which means that Maya can automatically associate the groups of UDIM textures to appropriately match the UDIM tile. So in this case, I have just a single material that's being applied to all these different mesh parts. And because we're using the correct naming convention here, all of the file texture nodes uh, that we see here and here 
are utilizing the correct image name and it's being set automatically again here by Maya. So now I'm going to run through another example where I'm going to export my textures so that I could use them in Modo with UDIMS. So for my configuration here, I'm going to choose uh, this Modo UDIM Metal Rough preset that I've created. And so if I just come over to my configuration tab, let's just take a look at what this is. Now I'm using Moto 10, so I'm going to actually just use the Unreal shader. And in that case, I'm just going to be exporting out base color, roughness, metallic, normal, uh, emissive, uh, AO, and height. But notice that I've just switched the naming convention here so that my texture set flag, which is again going to give me this UDIM ID that I need, and I just place that here at the end. So when I export, it's going to create a texture that's going to follow the naming convention that's going to allow Moto to automatically set the UDEM from the file name. So now that I have this export set up, I just again export my textures. And now we'll jump over to Moto and see how this is set up. So here in Moto, you can see that I'm using the same mesh. Uh, notice here that we have our UVs laid out here as UDEMs. I rendered using the Unreal Material within Moto 10. So first, if I just come over here to my System Preferences, and let's just take a look at Images and Painting, you'll notice that the UDIM is the last four digit number in the file name. Now you can actually set this to be the first four if you like. I believe that by default it's set to this last four digit. So I have that set up, and here I've just, inside the Images tab, I've just loaded in all of my UDIMs. If we take a look at one of the file textures, so for instance, let's just look at this base color, and here I'll come over to the image still, you can see that the UDIM identifier is being set automatically for me. Here all I needed to do was just set the here all I needed to do was just set the layer effect for these textures so they could match the Unreal material. And here you can see that we're able to get a render that looks very close to the Substance Painter viewport. So that's going to complete our look at using the UDIM tiles as texture sets inside of Painter. You can see that we can import an FBX uh, using UDIM tiles. Those tiles are going to be uh, converted to texture sets. We can then paint as we normally would inside of Substance Painter, and then export our textures where the texture set name is going to give us the appropriate UDIM tile ID. And when we're using that in programs such as Maya and Moto, we can easily hook up these textures using their specific UDIM workflows.